Good afternoon, boys and girls. I'm Miss Cold. I'm Miss Mary. And I'm Miss Buckman. Today we're going to be continuing working through our sequence of events through illustra illustrations and through writing. Do you guys remember the story Click Clack Moo Cows That Tight by Doreen Cronin that we read? Mm hmm. Yeah. Can you guys tell me some things you remember from the story? Raise your hand. What were some details you remember? Kara? The cows had typewriters. They had typewriters. Good. What else, Allie? They were cold, so they wanted blankets. And Good. They didn't want to give their milk. Do you remember what kind of blankets they wanted? What kind of blankets? Electric. Electric blankets. Oh, Good. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to review the story and what we remember from it. So let's just talk about setting. What is a setting? Not of the book, but just in general. What's the definition of a setting of a story? This is review. You guys should know this. Audra? I think it's where the story takes place. Good. Very good. So where the story takes place. So let's remember that. Let's keep that up in our brains. And the characters. What's the characters of a story? Allie? The people. The people. So the people involved. And sometimes it can be it's animals, animals, like in Click Clack Moo Cows at Type. Or an object. Yep. And the plot of the story. That's, that's what the story is about. I know we struggle with that one. But that's what the story is about. So the main idea of the story. Good. And then, so what are major events of a story? Are they, they're the the big things. The big happen. picture. Good. Okay, so now we're going to move into our think pair share, and I want you to get in groups or some people next to you. But since we're a group of three, you can all work together. And I want you to discuss with your group what the setting of Click Clack Moo Cows That Type is, the characters of the story, and the plot, and the major events. But I also want you to go over. What the sequence of the story is. Do we remember what the sequence of the story is? Not of click clack move cows a type, but in general, what is it? Kara? When things go in order. Okay, and what are the orders? Um, beginning, middle, and end. Very good. It's the beginning, middle, and end of the story. So I want you to get in your group and start talking about the setting, character, plot, and the major events, and the sequence of click clack move cows a type are. If you guys need the book to look to to refer, you can look at some of the books to help you remember the major events and the sequencing. blankets talk in the book? No. No? So characters so usually want, talk in the book. Yeah. yeah. No, good That's question. Funny. Though. Animals can't talk, but they talk in this book. Mm -hmm. Okay, so boys and girls, I want you to start sharing with me what you remember from the book. So what was the setting of Click Like Moo Cows a Type? Audra? The farm. Okay, great. And who are the characters? Ah, uh, farm, farmer. Okay. Moos, cows. Farmer <laughs> Brown. Good. Very good. Farmer Very Brown, good. that's his name. Great recall. Farmer Brown, what else? Cows? Chicken, Who else was in chickens, the story? Chickens, pigs? No, there was just one pig. It was ducks. Aw, oh, I love ducks. There was ducks. Good job, Kara. You can look back in the story alley to see, see if you no see any pigs. pigs in there. Just ducks. Who remembers what the <laughs> plot of the story is? Um, the cows, uh, get wanting blankets. Oh, very good. And Farmer Brown didn't want to give them to them at first. Which is not bad. That's expensive. That is. Yeah, very expensive. And what were the major events of the story? The cows get, getting the typewriter. Good. Good. The cows typing. Uh, no, that's... Oh. I was you just took my idea. Sorry. What are the other major the events, Audra? Um, wow. Well, she doesn't know. 
What happens to the chickens? What do they do when they don't get their electric blankets? They write too. They write they, to the farmer? They give up their eggs. Yeah. yeah. They give up their eggs. Good. They say that because they won't give up. Thanks for helping uh, Audra. I'm, I'm a good friend. Good job. <laughs> okay. So great job. <laughs> All right, so now uh, we want you guys to continue to think, pair, share about the ideas of our sequenced events. Now we talked about sequencing events. What were they again? The beginning, middle, and end. Beginning, middle, and end. Okay, so I want you guys to think, pair, share together what some beginning ideas happen, some middle ideas, and the end ideas. So what happened, if, let's think to yourself, what happened in the beginning of the book? And then a little in the middle some events that happen in the middle, and then at the end of the book. And you have the book to reference if you can't, if you can't help remembering. The cows were really cold in the beginning and they wanted blankets. Good. Um, in, the, in the middle, the cows said they weren't gonna give milk anymore. And, and the chickens weren't gonna lay eggs anymore. So in the beginning, they were cold. Okay, in the beginning, they were what? Cold. Okay. Who were? Who was cold? The cows. And then in the middle, what happened? The the cows w said, "I'm not giving any more milk." And they typed that to the farmer Brown. They wrote a letter, right? Yeah, that said, uh, we're not giving you milk anymore until we get blankets. Okay, good job. What happened at the end? The chickens in the middle also didn't want to Okay, great. I was tricking you, right? Mm -hmm. So the chickens... <laughs> so silly. The chickens wanted what? They, they, want, they, they wanted... Blankets. They didn't want to lay their eggs. They wanted blankets. Yeah. Good job. They Good job. They were, they were, they were not going to share their eggs anymore. I wouldn't want to live in a farm. No. It would be cold. And what happened at the end? Farmer Brown took them seriously and gave them blankets. But they gave away the, the typewriter. Right? Yep. He gave, what was that again, Karen? He gave, they, they had to give the typewriter back to Farmer to, Brown. To get the, to get the blankets. Good. Yeah. Very good. So they made a compromise. A compromise. What's a compromise? That's when two people both want something and they agree, so they're both happy in the end. That sounds mm -hmm. like they make I a lot of compromises. <laughs> but in this case, they had to give something to get something, right? Yeah. Good. Good. Wow. Yeah. All right, so now we're going to turn on the smart board and we're going to take these think, pair, share ideas and use it on our graphic organizers that Miss Cole's going to be passing out to you guys. So um, here's an example on the smart board of the beginning of oh, our graph of our graphic organizer. You'll see Miss Buckman's name is up at the top. You guys can write your names at the top too. So what we're going to be doing on these graphic organizers is filling in a first idea. So what first happens in the story, next in the story, and then you'll see on your piece of paper, another next. So there's two middle parts to it, okay? Just like we did on the board. Yep. And then there's a, uh, cl um, a closure one. So what happens at the end of the book, okay? So from your ideas and from your um, think, pair, share, what was one of the main like beginning events? Can someone tell me and I'll write it down on the board? Alley. The cows were cold and so they typed saying they wanted blankets. Good. So the cows were cold. Alright, so you guys can use that as an example for your first one. For your first one, okay? So next what I want you guys to do is you're going to fill it out on your own, but first we're going to go over our um, our rubric for this, okay? So you know kind of what I'm looking for and what I want to see in your papers. 
um, you have four different criteria that we have to base our, our answers off of, okay? So criteria one is on sequencing. Now you all remember what sequencing is, right? Okay, so that's like the order of events. So you can get three points for including three or more main events from the text. Now that's pretty easy since on your graphic or organizer, there's four different places you can put events that happen. So as long as you have all of them, then you'll get all three points. For criteria two, you're gonna have vocabulary, and that's including three or more vocabulary words from the text. You'll get all three points if you include at least three vocab words from the text. And that's any word that comes from the text. Um, for criteria three, those are your details. So you have to include at least three or more details from the text. These have to be specific details that we've talked about through Think Pair Share. You can use the characters, setting, plots, the major events, everything like that. Those can be used as your major details, but if you want all three points, that's what you have to get, or that's what you have to use. For criteria four, your last one, you have to include, um, those are your characters. You have to include three or more characters from the text. That means you have to recall three different people or animals in your writing and make sure you write their names down clearly so I can read them. Um, and then once you guys are done completing your worksheet, we'll collect them and we can go over, um, go over it. And you guys, if there's time, you can draw the events at the bottom, okay? So go ahead and take about five minutes. <clears throat> Y'all did a great job. <laughs> Very nice details. Wow, Kara, look at that handwriting. It's getting, it's getting better. And if you have questions, just raise your hand. Is your hand hurt, Kara? Done! Me too. Wow. I beat oh you by like two seconds. Whoa. You guys are quick. Okay, let's go over some of the details you guys wrote down, okay? We'll hear, we'll hear from one first, each person, okay? Once. Who <gasps> wants to go first? Audra. For the first one, the cows were cold and wanted electric blankets. Cool. Very good. Good job. Very good. Another detail you'd like to share? Allie. The chickens were cold and they didn't want to lay their eggs. And anymore. where did you put that on the graphic organizer? <clears throat> well, next. Next? The first next or the second next? The second next. The second next. Good job. I skipped. No, that's okay. Because she, I put my first one in the cows were cold and mm -hmm. my second one is the cows were cold. She likes right. chickens. Oh, fast. good. Everyone can do it in a different order. There's a lot of details yeah. that happen throughout the story. Yeah. And Kara? I put about the, the cows were cold, but. That was my next. What was my your closure? Closure. My closure was that Farmer Brown did, did they traded, they compromised and traded the typewriter for the blanket so they weren't cold. Good job. So do you guys feel that you have a good sense of knowing the beginning of the story it's is right in the beginning, the middle, and the end and of the story? The yes. Okay. Good. And good now job. I'll see. I'm going to collect these so then I can grade them and Hopefully you all will get all three points on each criteria, which will be awesome. You guys did a yes. yes can Kelly. I take the book home with me? Nope. Um, how about you read it during deer time and then we can talk about 